Welcome to the Getting Started training module of Media Dent version 6. In this demonstration, you will get an overview of the most important features you need to know in order to get started with Media Dent. In this session, we will show you an overview of the Media Dent screen. We will also show you how to work with viewports. These are the areas on the screen you will use in order to manipulate your images. Of course, we will show you some basic manipulation of the images, such as how you can change the brightness, the contrast, and use the unique windowing feature of MediaDent. We will also give an overview of how to work with the MediaDent icon set, and we will also show you how to work with the patient's image library, how you can organize it, and so on. First, let us get started with an overview of the MediaDent screen. What we will see in this session is the different menu options, working with the viewports, show you what the function is of the info bar, what the icon set means, show you a little bit about the patient's library, elements in manipulating the images. So let us get started with the different menu options. You see here a file, edit, display, options, language, and help menu with different options in this. And here you see the different languages you can choose from. The help menu, of course, you will be able to use that in order to get some additional information about certain features in MediaDent. Let's go further and show you the different viewports. What you see here is MediaDent configured to show you two viewports. As I already mentioned, it's the area you will use to manipulate your images in. Just click on the viewport to activate. You will see here some information in the info bar, but since we have not loaded an image net, it's not complete. Loading an image is just by double clicking on the image. You see that additional image appears, such as the size of the image, when it was taken, the name of the patient, and so on. In this part of the screen, you will see the icon set. You see a number of icons here. It is possible that you see less icons or even more icons, depending on the way MediaDent was set up for you. Just by hovering over the different icons, you will get a small tip explaining you what that certain icon does. For example, saving an image, changing the desktop, checking the region of interest, and so on. Another part of the screen is the image library. So here in the image library, you will find all the images that were taken for a certain patient. You can structure it in a certain way, in certain subfolders, and here you see the different images. If you hover over an image, you will see some additional information about that image. You will also see a teeth scheme with some additional information. If it's dark green, it means that two images, for example, in this case, two images are associated to a certain tooth. In this part of the screen, you will see the elements to manipulate your images. So we can change the brightness contrast by moving the little circle around. Resetting it is just by clicking on the small icons at the left hand side of the screen and the top and it will reset the image. Now I would like to load a second image. I can click on the viewport, double click on the image, and I will load the image into the viewport. Here I am using the pseudo color. You can use a pseudo color to check bone density, for example. You can reset it again just by clicking on the small icon, the left hand side here. The last feature I would like to show you is the windowing. For that, I will be loading an image of a lesser quality. I just select the viewport, replace the image by an image which is really not looking very well. 
I could use the contrast brightness, but this doesn't give me a good quality. So I'll be using the window feature, which filters out unnecessary grayscales. I can reset it again, and I can even use the automatic windowing feature, so I get a better quality image. This concludes the first demonstration on the overview of the Media Then screen. We suggest you follow the working with viewports demonstration. Thank you.